Thousands of wind turbines dot the landscape, each generating energy, offering a clean, green alternative to fossil fuel. The problem, studies have shown, those huge turbine blades kill hundreds of thousands of birds every year, including some that are endangered. But so far, critically endangered California condors have come out okay. There have been no instances of condor fatalities as a result of wind farms. So uh, it's, it's not happened. Portland-based wind energy company Avangrid Renewables is working to make sure it stays that way. Its Manzana wind farm in California sits in an area that is also the natural range for condors. To help protect the birds, the company uses technology. Most free-flying condors are equipped with GPS transmitters uh, by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And we use a geofence technology, which basically senses for the presence of those tags. When a condor is detected in the area, the company will then shut down the turbines to allow the birds to pass through. And recently, it went a step further. The company teamed up with the Oregon Zoo to help the condors even more. Um, and this is a part of a conservation plan that was approved by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, who were also involved in its development. For nearly two decades, the Oregon Zoo has been helping bring the critically endangered California condor back from the brink. The population now around 500 in the world. This is a peek inside the zoo's Johnson Center for Wildlife Conservation. It's a condor breeding facility. More than 80 chicks have hatched at the center since 2003, and more than 50 Oregon Zoo-reared birds have been released. The zoo's partnership with Avangrid Renewables includes funding that will support the rearing of six more condors. Because as the condor population increases and more turbines go up, mitigation will be key. There's a lot of progress still to be made, but as the population recovers, uh, there will be more of them in the region where uh, wind farms are, and we want to make sure that we are uh, enabling that recovery to continue and not, and not doing any harms. No question, as wind energy grows, so does the risk to many birds. And the work to allow the birds and the turbines to coexist will likely continue for years to come. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.